understands what working people go through uh, from his background, and uh, he will be a tremendous advocate for Donald Trump and Donald Trump's agenda. Well, and just moments ago, former President Donald Trump making his first appearance during the first day of the Republican National Convention. You see right there his ear wrapped in a bandage following being shot in the ear during a political rally this weekend in Pennsylvania. The next vice president of the United States could be one of Ohio's U.S. senators. Yeah, in fact, you heard the lieutenant governor talking about him just there a minute ago. Former President Donald Trump announcing earlier today that U.S. Senator J.D. Vance will be his running mate. Andre Norrells went to see what Ohioans are thinking and joins us now live in studio. Andre, I understand you got a lot of different ideas tonight. Yeah, I did. Now, we spoke to dozens of people today about their thoughts on Vance being the next possible VP. Only three wanted to go on camera and all have different thoughts on them. I think that J.D. Vance represents a very small percentage and a very right percentage. Personally, would not have picked him if I were President Trump, but I'm certainly not. Really amazing oh, yeah. that... Uh, we're going to be we're going to be represented and uh, we're going to the White House, baby. The news of J.D. Vance to be Donald Trump's running mate isn't going to change their November ballot, according to voters, but they have their opinions. Ohio's population, I do believe, is very diverse. And I think that that's something that's maybe not really portrayed a lot in the media. Um, I think in a lot of the Midwest, it's kind of the case. While others say this will help Trump at the polls. He's really going to rally the, the core Trump voters to, like, come out and and get people more involved. I, that's, that's my feeling. Political analyst and University of Toledo politics professor Sam Nelson says Vance won't make too much of a difference for Trump, especially in Ohio. He's not picking a VP candidate who can deliver him his home state. He was already going to get Ohio. Um, he doesn't deliver a key constituency group um, that uh, Donald Trump needs to win the election. He's pretty much uh, another Donald Trump figure in terms of his politics. But Nelson says while Vance might not help Trump at the ballot box, he might be helpful if Trump wins. I don't think he delivers anything extra, but I think that he's more a pick for how do I want to run my administration. Who will be spending the next four years in the White House doesn't matter to some voters because they're not even showing up to the polls in November. If I feel like the system's already stolen my vote and also the candidates are not really representing my views. I just, I'm not voting. While others know exactly how they'll decide on election night. Will you be casting your ballot for Trump, Vance? Oh, no. <laughs> 100%. Ohio and aren't registered, excuse me, if you want to vote in Ohio and aren't registered, you have until October 7th to register for the November election. Reporting in studio, Andre Knowles, WT11. So after tonight's announcement, there are a lot of people on social media asking the question, who is J.D. Vance? Vance is from Middleton, Ohio, between Cincinnati and Dayton. He defeated Democrat Tim Ryan to earn his Senate seat in 2022, and that marked his first political office. Vance made comments in 2016 that he was, quote, Never a Trump guy. Years later, he became a Trump ally and supporter. I'm a never Trump guy. I never liked him. And at the end of the day, do you believe Donald Trump, who always tells the truth? Just kidding. Or do you believe that woman on that tape? He is a former U.S. Marine and served in Iraq. Vance graduated from The Ohio State University and went to law school at Yale. He rose to prominence on a national stage after his book, Hillbilly Elegy a memoir about his family's Appalachian values, making it out of a lower economic class. Earlier today, Governor Mike DeWine spoke on Vance at the Republican National Convention. He's very articulate. He is very bright. He brings us, as I said, this world experience that he has. Not a lot of long political experience, but he brings that. And I think that will have a great appeal, those, that world experience, a great appeal to the people of the United States. So what happens if Vance is the next vice president? The Ohio Secretary of State's office tells WTOL 11 Governor DeWine would appoint an interim senator who would serve until December 15th of 2025. Then there will be a special primary in general election to select who would complete the term. Earlier today, former presidential candidate Vivek Ramaswamy said he would be interested in Vance's Senate seat if it opened.